star rotations and sunsets debunk the globe. Yes, Mitchell from Australia is a YouTuber flat earther that thinks that us Globers are going to regret ever saying that star rotation and sunsets prove the Earth spin. Let's take a close look at his reasoning, shall we? Wow. I'm Mitchell from Australia, and being from Australia, I get called the dumbest of the dumb flat earthers. This is because the Globers say that southern star rotation debunks the flat earth. But this argument is going to be your downfall, Globe believers, because on your model, stars aren't actually rotating, are they? It's the earth rotating underneath the stars. And you're asserting that you're on that rotating earth, looking up at the stars, making the stars appear to be rotating not actually rotating. Yep, that's the general gist of it. Just like this demonstration of a drone leaving the rotating reference frame of a roundabout. From the rotating reference frame, it appears that the drone is deviating. But as we can see, the drone just goes up and hovers. It doesn't go anywhere. This is an apparent deviation. Okay, we get your point. The scale is slightly off, but hey, well done. And this is what Globers will tell you is happening when you see stars rotating in the sky. But what this also demonstrates is what we observe from the inertial reference frame while looking at another thing in the inertial reference frame. This drone is in the inertial reference frame and the camera looking at the drone and the roundabout is also in the inertial reference frame. So as you can see, when viewing something else in the inertial reference frame from the inertial reference frame, the drone is no longer appearing to move. Yes, 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 but how does all this prove that we don't rotate? So let's take another look at the stars, and this time we're going to leave the asserted rotating reference frame of the Earth and enter the inertial reference frame above the Earth. These stars are already in the inertial reference frame. So when we view from the drone entering the inertial reference frame, the stars should not move. Just like when we see the drone in the inertial reference frame, it does not move. But we still see the stars moving. Um. Ah, how do I? Only joking, Mitchell. Your drone remains in the rotating reference frame. It does not move into the inertial reference frame, as you say. No! If your drone is hovering over a particular spot on Earth, then it remains in rotation with the Earth, doesn't it? Close no! to I did a quick calculation and I tweeted the winning field goal in that game was aided by a one third of an inch deflection to the right from Earth's rotation. Ah, this must be embarrassing for you, Simon and Dan, not knowing how your own globe model works, rebelling against your high priest, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson who famously detailed how, when a ball is kicked, it leaves the rotating reference frame of the Earth and enters the inertial reference frame, making the ball seem to apparently deviate due to the Earth rotating underneath. This is Coriolis, Simon and Dan. So if we can see Coriolis in something like a football with a short hang time, we're damn well going to see Coriolis in something like a drone with a very long hang time if the Earth were actually spinning. But you detail it correctly, Simon and Dan, by saying we do not see an apparent deviation in the drone hovering. Therefore, we do not have Earth-based Coriolis, and we do not have a spinning Earth. That's our argument, Simon and Dan. Welcome to Flat Earth. But your little drone isn't leaving the spinning Earth, is it? Have you realised the implication of this, Globus? The stars 
are the things that are actually moving, not the earth underneath it. The thing is, Mitchell, you're always going to see star trails. Check out this picture from the ISS. Absolutely awesome. And look, star trails. <laughs> Quality example, Simon and Dan. But instead of going after the impossibility of star trails being seen by the ISS, unless it's doing barrel rolls, I'm going to attack where the ISS is. In space, you say, the sky vacuum. Yeah, that violates natural law. The gas we breathe would absolutely fill the available space of the sky vacuum, as dictated in the second law of thermodynamics. This is entropy. You think the ISS can reside in a place that violates natural law? Nah, space is fake, mate. And the Earth is stationary, as you detailed before. Your video is going downhill quick, Simon Dan. If it were actually Earth rotation, making the stars appear to rotate, then when we leave the spinning Earth, we wouldn't see this. The stars should stay still, but yet they keep spinning. But this also applies to all celestial bodies, because you ballers assert that the sun sets and rises, also due to Earth rotation. So let's view the sun from the inertial reference frame. Same argument, same misunderstanding. The drone has left the rotating reference frame of the Earth, but yet the sun still appears to set. We go up again, and the sun sets again. This is not caused by Earth rotation, because the Earth is not actually rotating. Mitchell from Australia there literally proving the curve by filming the sunset, moving up higher and watching it set again. Well done Mitchell, well done. The curve you say Simon Dan. Well let me introduce you to our good friend the black swan, which absolutely demolishes the possibility of any curvature and debunks the radius of your globe. Because in order to have a curve and block things like the sun and the bottom of ships, you would need to have a geometric horizon which on a sphere of radius 39.59 miles can be no further than 1.22 times the square root of the observer height in feet. So at an observer height of 8 feet, the geometric horizon can be no more than 3.46 miles, Simon and Dan. But as you can see in the black swan image, all those arrows are pointing to the horizon, which are way past 10 miles. Yeah, your globe is good and dead. No curvature, no space, and no rotation. So have you actually got any evidence of this curvature you speak of, Simon Dan? Oh, wait a minute. Of course I have. <laughs> Does that mean my table is evidence of curvature too, Simon Dan? Nope, wrong again. You still fail to see how our world really works. Things disappear bottom up as they move away from us, not due to curvature, but due to angular resolution. The angle from the observer to the coin has become so small that it is no longer resolvable. But if we increase the angle from the observer by zooming in, this resolves the coin again. It is not blocked by any curvature. It is not blocked by anything at all. Just like your example of the boat disappearing bottom up as it moves away from us. That angle from the observer to the bottom of the boat gradually gets so small that it is unresolvable from the bottom up. So to recap what we've learned from Simon and Dan, the earth does not spin, space is fake, and there is no curvature. There we go, another Flat Earth Friday done and dusted, and what a great one it was. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please, please do like and subscribe. <laughs>